Hi guys. So, um, today I'm going to talk about season, or episode 17 of season 2 of Once Upon a Time called Welcome to Storybrook. Now, before I talk about the episode, as always, I want to um, remind you that if you have not seen the episode, you can click to another video at this time because there will be major spoilers. Okay? So, I'm going to let you do that now. Okay, so um, I assume everybody who is now still watching the video has seen the episode. As you can see, I'm in a different spot. Well, today I watched the um, episode again of Once Upon a Time on my parents' new computer. So, that's why I'm in here. I'm in the, our computer room. Anyway, so, um, well, what? There's a lot of things I can say about this episode. I'll admit it wasn't my favorite. I expected that, but I definitely found out it wasn't my favorite. It was a good episode. Now that I've watched it again, I realize it was a good episode. I didn't like it as much the first time, but now I liked it a little bit more. I did like the aspect of getting to see Storybrooke when the curse was first enacted. That's really, really neat. So, yeah. And, of course, that means the return of Graham. Woohoo! I do like Graham. He's one of my favorites. Even though... Like I've said before, I haven't watched all of season one, so I haven't really seen many episodes of Graham, but, with Graham, but he's gorgeous and he's sexy. And honestly, I like him and Regina together. I think they're kind of cute. <sighs> if I had, if I had to pair Regina up with anybody, it'd be him, for sure. Um, okay, so, now to the episode. I loved the reference in the very beginning of um where Kurt and Owen were talking about stuff and how Owen or Greg how he referenced um this referenced Star Wars my dad loves Star Wars and so I kind of I like it too yeah so that was pretty cool having that Star Wars reference um like I said it's really cool to see how the curse happened happened when it first was enacted. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, but the scene that we first see Mary Margaret in this episode, I think it was the first scene, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly. But, um, I noticed that, um, it was the repeat scene from the very first pilot. I mean, from the pilot. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. From the pilot. I mean, honestly, the reason I know it was a repeat was because of the return of Mary Margaret's eyebrows her first eye the eyebrows you saw in the uh, I don't know if it's just me or anybody but I honestly thought Regina's eye I mean Mary Margaret excuse me her eyebrows were ugly I think they were thicker or something there's just something different about her in the first episode and the second in this episode I honestly think it's the eyebrows okay um now, and it seems like Mary Margaret wears the same clothes over and over again. I actually tweeted Jane um, Espenson. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but she tweeted me back and say it said basically that Mary Mark um, that there wasn't much chance for um, for the style to change, <laughs> but yet they had cell phones later. And when we first see Storybrooke the first time in the pilot, they had cell phones. How could that happen? Yet their change, their clothes, their sense of style does not change at all. Um. Now I want to give mad. I mean, I want to give. I want to say kudos to um, Lana Perea. She honestly deserves an Emmy Award for this episode. I mean, oh my gosh. The Regina feels are, there are so many Regina feels, yeah. Uh, one thing I thought was kind of funny is how awkward she, Regina was in the very um, beginning when story when the curse had been enacted in Storybrooke. You could see she what, didn't have very many people skills. And yeah, she might have done okay in Fairytale Land, but here in Storybrooke in the U.S., she ain't that great. Now, um, this, where you constantly see basic, 
the part in the episode where it kind of repeats, almost repeats itself. It actually, like, it's the same, it may not be the same clothes or anything, but it's the same camera shot. Like, you keep seeing, like, you see Archie say, beautiful day, isn't it? And that kind of stuff. That kind of got boring to me. And it was kind of confusing. And when I say it's kind of confusing because I, well, it's just, I'm just kind of confused why they wanted to show that scene over and over and over again. Yes, Ruby was dressed differently. Loved her clothes, by the way. And honestly, if I, if I was, um, gay or homosexual, actually, I think I kind of am, uh, girl crush on, um, Megan Ori, uh, well, may not really a girl crush, but I just loved her clothes, kind of sexy, well, very sexy, they love showing her off, <laughs> okay, um, anyways, I also thought it was kind of funny when Regina was talking to Mr. Gold about, um, you, we made, you made a deal with me, da da da, that kind of stuff, that was funny how that time Rumpel didn't know who he, or Mr. Gold, didn't know that he was really Rumpelstiltskin. It's just so odd to know that he didn't know at the beginning, at the very beginning. But I think, if I'm right, Emma was the one who, um, when Emma came to town, that caused his, um, memories to come back. Don't know why it happened and not everybody else, but that, I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, um... Now, when we saw, um, when Regina was getting very upset and she was trying to find the curse to kill Mary Margaret and make Henry love her, oh, oh God, that was so creepy, when she called Cora Mommy, when she said, thank you, Mommy, oh, I just shudder at the thought. Um, and now, when, when you saw, um, Gregor Owen, whichever you want to call him, when you saw him interacting with Regina as a boy, I can totally, totally see why Regina adopted Henry. I mean, just the love she had. I mean, even though she wasn't the best, she she didn't do really great. She kind of more put Owen off from her than made him love her more, because I could already tell if something had happened to Kurt other than what happened, which we have no idea, I can totally see Owen um, thinking of Regina as a mother figure. She, and he was right. She would be a great mother figure. She just doesn't really know how to interact with kids at the time. Anyway, so, um, also, um, I was, th the scene where, um, Neil tries to bribe Henry with the Sunday. That was so adorable and so funny. I mean, it's like, uh, he may be 11, but he's smart. And, um, it's, I, th um, and when they're, when we're back in Storybrooke in 1983, which is when the curse was originally enacted, um, I think it's kind of funny how after Regina's told Graham, pull him over to the side, um, pull him over and arrest him for drunk driving, that he still comes in and into, um, Regina's house or office, um, and still tries to arrest Kurt for drunk driving. He's, like Kurt said, he's not driving and he's not drunk. <laughs> but I guess that was kind of one of the bad things with Pulling out his heart. He'll he'll continue to do it until he gets it done. And I know that wasn't the funniest scene, but it well, it just kind of struck me as funny. Anyways, um, when Graham, though, when Graham does arrest Kurt for drunk driving, I felt so sorry for Owen, or Greg. It's so nice to finally find out that Greg is Owen. I had, once I saw the pictures and I had read some other comments, I was like, yeah, that seems possible that Greg Mendel, or Mendel, is Owen. Not surprised. Especially once I saw the pictures of the kid, of, um, Greg as a kid. 
anyways, um, so, Henry, um, seems to, when, um, Henry, when they're, he's at the well and he's about to blow it up and then Regina stops him and everything, and he stops Regina from killing his, the rest of his family, to me, he, uh, that honestly screams, he's the only one making sense. Henry is like, I mean, Henry's so right. We need to get rid of magic. Yes, if they would. But no more show. Bye-bye. But he's totally the only one who's making sense. And um, back in 1983 when um, you see Regina crying, I feel so sorry for her. I mean, it's just like poor Regina. She wanted somebody to love, but the person she was trying to get her to love her didn't want to. Gosh, I mean, when I first started watching the show, I hated Regina. But now, I don't hate her as much. Which is kind of nice. That's kind of screwed up, though, that all the villains are the ones you kind of like. Hmm. Don't wonder what's going to happen now. I wonder when Hook's going to get back. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. He's sexy, but I hate him. <laughs> for trying to kill Rumpel. Anyways, stop ranting about that. Um, also, I was... I'm... After seeing... Kurt be arrested. I'm wondering what happened to him. I'm thinking he might have been killed, but since Greg is still looking for him, or Owen, whichever you want to call him, I'm not sure he has been. Oh, uh, and I feel sorry for Mary Margaret because, you know, the part where Regina tries to pull, um, or pulls Mary doesn't try. She pulls Mary Margaret's heart out and then she notices the black spot that says that Mary Margaret's becoming evil. Oh god, I felt so sorry for her. She just wanted Regina to kill her. But to me that says that's not Mary Margaret. Mary Margaret wouldn't want her to wouldn't want Regina to kill her. She would want to stay for her family, I'd hope. But it seems like she's going down that path, and I hope she, I hope she doesn't get, she doesn't go all the way down the path. Well, um, that's my, um, review of the episode. Oh, and I've got one more note I want to say. I did find out how long the break is going to be. People, I'm sorry, but it's going to be three weeks. After this next episode, there will be a three-week hiatus. Uh, so that means for three weeks there will be no ep new episodes of What's Upon a Time. However, on the 31st of this month and then whatever the day the next week is, I'll put that in down below whatever day of the week that is. I'll put it in the description. There will be two specially enhanced episodes. One will be the Queen of Hearts. Oh, oh and the other one will be the Milliter's Daughter. Yeah, those are the two episodes that will be specially enhanced. They will have, um, like, they will, you'll see things pop up on screen that will tell about the episode. And I can't remember what other stuff, but it's just a couple of things. But that should be really neat. So, that, I think, will kind of help us, help keep me from going crazy. And I'm sure other people who are huge oncers. Okay, so, like, well, that's all. And don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, um... Leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Miss underscore Lacey Bell and my role playing um, Twitter account where I'm playing Belle, my favorite character on, well, one of my favorite characters on once, but I don't want to play Rumpelstiltskin. As much as I love him, I don't. I think it'd be kind of weird. Um, you can follow me at my Belle role playing Twitter account at Miss underscore L bell and i'll leave i'll um add a couple of links to that to those videos or to the, those accounts below okay i'll talk to you later bye